Okay, hi everyone. I'm going to do a cutting video. Not done a video for a few weeks, I don't think. So I'm working on my spring line, and I thought I'll do some some videos. I've got some making videos coming up as well, so I will be sure to let you see some of that. I've got to do lemonade lounger. Somebody asked me to do a making video, so I'll do that of that one. Um, I've got several to do, so we'll, I'll see, but I'll film Lemonade Lounger because it's just a general catalogue and then there may be some other bits, but I do have some problems with some of these spring line soaps, so I'll pick and choose which ones I film, but this one is Gossamer Ghost, and it's a really lovely blend of neroli and coriander, and there's some citrus in there, but it's a really gentle, soft, beautiful blend of essential oils, so... We'll cut this one first because I made this one first yesterday. And I did try to um, push the rose petals into the top of the soap so that um, it didn't all come off, which can be a problem. So we'll just chop them into logs. I did some sort of nice little swirls inside this one. Like I was, I have been doing over the past few months. This has got Australian um, super fine pink clay, and then some white the titanium dioxide. But it's pretty much an all-natural soap. It's all essential oils, nice cocoa butter in there. Um, yeah, and my regular soap recipe. So. It's just a nice one to make. I, I like essential oils, as you know. They're my favourite to um, to use in soaps because they just don't give me any issues, really. Occasionally, if I do too hefty a water discount, but I've learnt my lesson there, so I, I, you know, trial and error, but I got there in the end. But I really like essential oil soaps to use myself more than fragranced ones, really, if I'm honest. Depends though, it depends. I've said this before, and it really, if I had to choose, then I would choose essential oil. Like if I absolutely had to, but I don't have to, so we get the best of both worlds. <laughs> but yeah, that's my preferred, they're my preferred type of scents. I, I asked like a question on my Facebook last week as to which, um, type of scents everybody likes, so whether you like herbal, floral, foodie scents, um, you know, whatever. And I've got a whole bunch of answers that I'm going to use to put into a spreadsheet so that I can... Hi! had a delivery of some things I've been waiting for. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, people have left me sort of comments letting me know what they like the most. So I'm going to do a spreadsheet of uh, the different ones and see which ones are most popular and then work my blends around that. So that will help to get things made that people actually really want, you know, because my preferences could be completely different to other people's. So it's good to ask the question. Okay, next up is Ethereal Seas. This is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite blends. It did go general catalogue, but just after it went general catalogue, it didn't really get bought as, you know, like it does when I do it as a sort of spring line. So I cancelled it out and just thought, no, I'm going to just use it for spring because it is it is a very spring-like soap. I mean, oh God, this soap just does my head and I love it so much. I use a different colourant in there. I use some mica and some lapis powder, and this is the colour we got, and I'm just in love with it. It's just beautiful. I couldn't believe it yesterday. I just thought, that is just stunning, and it's my own work. <laughs> so I was really happy that I would, you know, I could get that much pleasure from my own soap. You know, normally I'm there sitting, looking at other people's pictures and thinking, oh, you know, wow, wow, wow. And then when it's your own and you've done it yourself, it's it's actually just, oh, it's lovely. 
Lovely, lovely. <laughs> so this is Ethereal Seas, and this is another essential oil blend. This has got basil and bergamot and lime and, uh, God, geranium. That's it. It just softens the blend because the basil and the lime and the bergamot are quite pungent, strong, almost spicy, like virgin on a spicy scent, but, oh my God. The geranium just gives it like a really nice softness. So it's not floral, but it's kind of, well, it just reminds me of British beaches, but not that it smells like the sea or anything, but it's just, this is what it reminds me of. So this is Ethereal Seas. And it is sort of like a blend, it's sort of, yeah, like an ethereal blend, I suppose. It makes sense. When you smell it, you'll see what I mean. That's if the customers are watching this. <laughs> I have to post this to the Facebook page because I don't always do that. I think a lot of the time it's the soap makers watching your videos, you know, not always just the customers. So I shall make more effort to get these videos up on the Facebook page. It's just when I'm sitting at home and I'm only on my phone, I don't, I can't see half of what's going on on my Facebook page. It's a pain in the ass because they've put all my personal and my business stuff all together so it's really hard to decipher what's going on so I, and I also can't post the link from my YouTube channel to my actual Facebook page I can only put it on my or post it as my personal Facebook and I don't want to do that you know I want to post it as my business page so that's a real pain in the bum so I can only post these videos onto the Facebook page as Future Primitive Soap if I'm sitting on a computer. So they need to update the app. I've got an Android phone, I'm on a Samsung S3. And if they would just make it easier, you know? It's real it's really annoying. They I'm sure that you used to be able to post as your page from your phone. I think even when I had a Blackberry you could do that. So there's little glitches I you know, little things that are annoying. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's get the tank and cut these into logs. I had a whole bunch of new botanicals in the post. I got some, I'll show you. I got some calendula, so these are in my, I used my sort of nice old apothecary jars. Those are my calendula petals. I've got more, of that, more than that, but that's all I can get in the jar. And then I've got some... Rose petals, some new ones, that's a nice jar. And I have chamomile, and my sister picked me some lavender last year. And the colour is so blue, I think you can kind of see that. It, compared to the other lavender that I've bought off other of suppliers, this is the one my sister picked personally, and it's so blue and purple, beautiful. Look at that. The other ones I've got are quite dull, so it makes me wonder, I don't know, I don't know why that's so bright. But the other one I'll show you, which I only got, you know, not that long ago. There's the colour of that one. It smells beautiful. Oh man. It really does smell beautiful. But yeah, it's not um, that really nice deep bluey purple colour. Anywho, I'm going to put this on his side so that we don't get rose petals dragging down through the soap. So, just turn you so you can see the wires going through. If you're a freak like me and like to watch that kind of thing. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. That's better than last year's. Last year's I just wasn't very good. And there's the swirl. So, yep, these will be nice. And, uh, yeah, they're glad that's a good um, way of keeping your petals and flowers and things like that on top of soap. I just poked them with the end of my spoon so they didn't all come off. I mean, usually I just sprinkle them on, but kind of pointless if they just keep coming off, you know? This is lovely. That clay in there is just going to make it just extra pretty. Oh my god. The scent of this is just unreal. 
it's just got that beautiful orange blossom. Well, it's neroli. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. I don't need too much in this, but it... Oh, my God. You forget, don't you? You know when you have to remake stuff from previous years, you forget how good, like, some of the... Some of the blends are, because you get so caught up in whatever season you're in, I think it's always nice to come back and, and bring back things that you've made before from previous releases, because it makes you appreciate them all the more. So this is, yeah, I should be the first to um, use this soap <laughs> this time. I always take some home so that I, you know, I actually will test this straight away. I'll test it before it's cured out. Which I do with most of my soaps. And that's just so that I can see if there's any issues with it before it's actually cured. Because if there's any issues now, then there will be when it's cured, you know. But generally, I don't... I stick to the same recipe, so I don't usually get any problems with my soaps. As long as you, you know, I'm using the same supplier for my lye and my oils, that kind of thing know what to expect but yeah I like to test them out just to make sure that they feel nice on the skin and it might be a little bit drying when I first try them you know like after one day of it being made but I like to just see how the lather is and stuff like that okay there's one um, on to number two mess here. Okay, I'll just get these out because you don't need to see every single bar. Bore you to tears. But yeah, I'm happy with the way these have turned out. I think they're super pretty. I should have bought this out for Valentine's really. It looks more like a Valentine's style soap but, you know, my customers didn't want Typical Valentine's, because they use a bit dark. <laughs> Don't go through the usual. I got asked yesterday, I went to the gym. I've started a new gym regime, which is great, because I've had a really bad back, so I'm starting off taking it easy. But I went in yesterday, and the guy that was sort of helping me out with sort of some manoeuvres for my, to help my back get better, um, you know, you get talking, and what do you do for a living? Blah, blah, blah. So I told him I was a soap maker. Oh, really? Have you got any soaps that, you know, with some nice hearts and flowers on them for Valentine's? And I said, uh, no. <laughs> it's not really the kind of thing that I do, and thank God I don't have to, because my customers don't appreciate that kind of thing anyway. So, no, I told him what it was all about, and he, he sort of looked a bit confused. <laughs> But you have to be honest, you know. He said he'd pop up and have a look anyway. I mean, people could come to the shop and come and see and come and buy. But, um, yeah, it's not uh, your average type of soap, really, is it? I know I fit into a niche market, let's put it that way. I don't do the general stuff. I do some pretty, pretty things, but, yeah, I think he was expecting me to say, yeah, yeah, cool. No, I'm sorry, I might not be able to help you there. Although these are very pretty soaps, but yeah, Valentine's, chocolates, roses, that kind of thing, no. It ain't my thing, chicken wing. Okay, now, on to Ethereal Seas. This one's got bladderwrack seaweed on the top, so I've got to be careful with this too, because it will go right through the soap otherwise. Just see what we got. Right, that's here. Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful colour, beautiful scent. Oh man, the basil is like a real crunchy type of a scent. If that makes sense, it's just got a real bite to it and a super fresh, super super fresh. And then the lime, you can just get it. 
sort of hint of lime. It's gorgeous. It's a shame it didn't stay general catalogue really because it really is beautiful. But like I just said, it makes you appreciate it even more when you do come to make them and use them again. So there's a little seaweed on the top. Nice swirly swirl. Focus. There we go. Me likey, me likey, me likey, me likey. I get so excited sometimes over rolls of soap, you know. I think that's why it's nice to use other people's because you you just get into it, you know. You can really appreciate what people are doing, and when they've got inspiration from something that you sort of can sense when you're using it, then that's. All the more better, I think. We yeah, made a big mess. So that's ethereal seas, and I'll just drop those over here. One more to cut, and then I will trim up the other ones and get on with it. And then I'll probably be back with the making of lemonade lounger. I've got a couple of orders to pack before I do any soap making, but that's okay. It won't take me long. some new ingredients as well for lemonade lounger. I bought some um, vanilla beans. I use vanilla pods usually. I've got some up here but I bought um, what have I got here? Yeah, you know, just some seeds in a packet. So there's this is full of vanilla seeds like the insides of the pod. And I do have some like a pod here or two pods there. But I'm going to use the seeds because it will be easier and it gives it kind of a bit of an exfoliating property. Not too, it's not scratchy or anything like that but it does give it some kind of scrubbiness. And then I use some nice dead sea mud. But I've also got a new colourant which I will use as well, it's a yellow mica. So to make it more lemony, and I'm going to change the look of it to something more like this but with lemon yellow and creamy white and then the Dead Sea Mud so it might yeah it might do sort of a bit of a drop swirl and then chopstick it a bit. We'll see how we go. But yeah I have I have plans. So I'm just gonna trim all these up. I'm gonna start um beveling all the edges again. It's getting a bit dark. It's been so so horrible in the UK. A lot of people have had to flee their homes because of the floods. Like it's not stopped raining for so long. So long. And yesterday they had like, well we had up to 100 mile an hour winds. It, oh, horrible, horrible. So while the, a lot of people in the US have got snow, we've got really, really awful sheet rain. Like it's not raining right now, but it's been absolutely crazy. Like coming across, you can see it in sheets of water. And we live in a town where we've got a, you know, a river that always floods. And luckily, it hasn't been half as bad as the rest of the country. When you look down south, and Wales and places like that, it's just been absolutely crazy. And usually we, we get it the same, and it's a real nightmare. But I don't know why. It's I don't know whether they dredged the river here or what, but... It's definitely not been as bad as elsewhere, so thank God it hasn't. Because at this time of the year when it's cold and horrible and you've got to leave your home because it's flooded, I, I just feel for those people so much. You, oh, you know, it's bad enough when it's cold and you're trying to warm your house up. 
even with heating on, like it's, it just makes everything damp and when you can't even be in your own house, it, it's, I just think that's awful. There's poor people and there's a hell of a lot of them as well and a hundred thousand homes without power. It makes you wonder what the hell's going on. It's like something out of the movie watching the news last night. It was like um, 2012, you know. Anywho, let's be hopeful that spring is around the corner, eh? Right, I'm going to get on with it then, and I will be back to show you the making of lemonade lounger. I'll just show you those soaps. Sorry, they're over, right over here. So there we go. Bit of sunlight coming in. So there's Ethereal Seas and Gossamer Ghost, and I will see you soon. Bye.